Hey everybody, Jeff from Corrugated Cavalier here, coming to you with the next video in the Fiore Sword and Armor series. Sorry it's been a little slow with updates lately between work and life and getting ready for the Deed of Arms. It's been a little tough, but we're back. Got my mail sleeves ready to rock. Sorry there's a tiny bit of rust, I apologize for that. The man who uh, upkeeps my mail for my manor has been sacked, don't worry about it. Okay, so. Today is just a very, very basic principle um, about the covers in the sword and armor section. I'm only really going to mention two, and it's really just the first play and a variation on the first play, and then just sort of briefly what comes after that. Um, the variation is sort of my own interpretation, but I think it's bared out in the manual pretty well. So let's get started. So the first play tells us that we can come from the True Cross, or the Hybrid Cross as well. So if I'm in Vera Croce, True Cross, I'm back like this, and it says to step offline and make this cover. And that's pretty much it. And from the Hybrid Cross, it looks like this. I think you could also do it from the right forward posta in the Sword and Two Hands section where we're half sorting. We're down like this, we step off. I don't see why not. This is probably a thrust coming in, and the picture in the manual kind of looks like a high cut coming in. I don't find that as likely in armor, but you never know. And so the follow-up to that, let's say we're in Verde Croce, we step offline, like today I said I offline, make this cover, and then we thrust to the face. Or lift the visor and thrust to the face, or whatever. And there are follow-ups from there, but it's basically, Take this cover, thrust to the face. Um, and then on the other side, the variation, and there are several plays that I'll put up that use um, the pommel strike or something like that, or a cross guard strike. So I think it's just as fine to do it in left foot forward post up. So let's just say I'm in a serpent, and I step off line, make this cover, and pommel strike. For the race serpent, it works very well, especially if I'm actually in this sort of range where we might be. Let's come in with a pommel strike or a cross guard strike. Um, or the archer stance actually says to step offline while making a cover, and the archer stance is a left foot forward post up. So we'll step off, boom. I don't see why that wouldn't work either. So those are just two covers. Um, once again, it doesn't ex explicitly. Fury doesn't explicitly talk about the left foot forward post of doing this cover, but it seems to follow from the plays in the manual that it could happen anyways. I think it makes sense. Tell me what you think down below. Could you make that cover from the left foot forward post up? Uh, do you have any other interpretations? I'd be interested to hear it. In the next video, we'll get into some of the follow-ups from those techniques and some of the more specific plays. Good to see you all again. Thank you for coming by the channel. Please give a like and subscribe. Share this around to people who might find it interesting. Be good to each other, and ciao.